actually a couple days later. I don't remember where I exactly left off, but I don't know what I look like, but I am really struggling. I am having a hard time creating a great balance between being home with Nala. Nala has become a terrible, she's not sleeping without sleeping, like co-sleeping, so we're going backwards. So it's been about a week and, week and a half that she has been wanting to be in the bed with us in order to sleep. So I put her to bed, then when she gets in deep sleep, I try to transfer her from the bed to the crib. We have been sleeping in the same room. So in the last week I've been doing the, every time she gets up, lay her back down, give her a bottle. And doing that, and I swear for like an hour, like on and off hours. So she'll take like an hour nap, or an hour and a half nap, and wake up. Then I gotta do it again for like 30, 40 minutes straight. And then I'm just exhausted physically, sleep deprived a little bit, and hungry. I'm gonna start talking to Eden because I need to take heat of this time. But David bought me some Texas Row House. If you follow me on Instagram, you see my 16 ounce steak. I guess he feel like I deserved it after what I've been going through. So usually I get the best sleep when David gets out of bed because I'm more comfortable with being in the bed with Nala and he's getting ready for work. Usually I get a couple of hours of sleep at that time um, and she sleeps until about 8. But also another thing is when she takes her first nap, usually around like 9 or 10, she hasn't been wanting to take those naps either. So usually I have to sit next to her for like an hour and a half until she's done finding sleep in the swing. And then she goes to sleep. Then by the time I'm done with that, I have to make a life decision. And this is what I'm at now, is eating, sleeping, or cleaning up. Like I have to figure out which one's best. Right now I'm deciding to eat. She's already been asleep like 20 minutes. So I don't know how much longer I can do it. Yesterday, I took her out on a walk for like two hours, which I shouldn't be doing. She really liked that, but I can't do that every day to get her to sleep. But I do really like the stroller. If I decide to walk, I'll show you guys that later. I'm trying to get him to help me out in the middle of the night, putting her to bed, but the problem is when David, when she sees David, she sees the fun and wants to be up with him. So she doesn't go to sleep with him. So I have to make a decision. Do he keep trying to put her to bed and keeping me up because now she's making a lot of noise when she see him or do I just give in. So I'm really hoping that she fight through this stage and learn how to become a better sleeper again. If your child has gone through this, please tell me how you combat this. I have bought a snuggle me yogurt in it. Toddler bed. She did like that, but the problem is it only lasts so long because she wants to lay on her stomach too. Can't lay on your stomach on a snuggle me. So let me eat. Pick up the base, utilize this time I can. I'm gonna probably get back to you guys when she wakes up. So, it's honestly been maybe about two hours since I last checked in on you guys. Nala woke up probably like maybe 30 minutes from the time that I posted, and we just been hanging in here. She's been in her new little playpen which is a maze balls i recommend one of these over like a play yard because she would not stay in the play yard for nothing but i put all her little toys in there and just kind of cram them up and let her live her best life it's a summer infant playpen and i think this is good because they don't necessarily feel like they are 
and a playpen because it's kind of like mesh and see-through. But I like this a lot better than uh, Play Yard because I think that reminds them of a crib. So uh, I put it to where she can still kind of see the TV, see me and stuff like that. I'm watching Good Girls, which is I think is a pretty good episode. She's not really paying attention to the TV, so I'm just letting her be great. So now I think it's almost time to put her down for a nap. Uh, I have been trying my best to compile some clothes and everything like that over here. So that is like my little outfit sets right there. So I'm thinking that once I create some of the outfits, I might put those in the drawers and like all the oversized stuff I may put in the little cubicle i will show you later how i organize that and then once i actually get all this stuff together then i can fully do like a room tour and how i got everything organized but she has so many clothes and so much stuff so um i'm still going through everything but yeah this is my little update i'm gonna try my best to get her to nap but i just put her on this little sleeper i'm about to put some socks on her so we need to get at least one more nap in before bedtime it is 2 53 oh lord it's way passionate it's not 2 53 what time is it it's 2 54 oh wow okay let's try to get some socks on your feet hold it there we go now I'm going to be creative. I'm going to put the socks on. Okay. Oh, Lord. Maybe we can't do that at the same time. Got your socks on. Yeah. That's what it looks like. It's like a giant pillow. Here. Oof. That was close. <laughs> nope. I don't got time to mess with that. Hey, so I'm back and Nala's awake. So I've been uh, dealing with these clothes and everything since forever in the day now. Now I figured we go ahead and take Nala out on a walk. I'm gonna go ahead and take the dog as well. Um, I made an Instagram post about this, but let's talk about it more once I get her in the stroller. Child's heart carrying me. Um, this is the Graco Modes 3XT light and yesterday was the first time um, us actually using this and I like it a lot. Um, only thing about this is that it is not really meant or I don't think you can use the toddler seat until they're close to a year old because Nala is close to 11 months. And she just now be able to fit in this. And this did come as a travel system with an infant car seat and all that, but it is a weird transitional gap to be able to ride this and the infant car seat. So one thing I do like about this is that um, it has like a little kick foot thing. That's one thing I liked about the click connect. This one's not a click connect with the foot thing, but it's okay because it comes out like a plate so she can lay perfectly good and i like that this canopy is seriously long i don't think you can kind of tell but it is really long and it actually covers her hole because it has this extended mesh part that unzips i just already have it unzipped but i really like that for sunshade so this would be good when we go to disney Overview of this with the big old basket. Hi, baby. Daddy's home. 
He don't got nothing on him. Daddy's home. And he got me my favorite. Some ice. Ice right Nugget now. Nugget ice. Nugget ice. That from Thornton's. They have the best ice in it, so. One thing I do remember about this stroller, though, when we used to use it as an infant car seat, is that remember we always used to run into stuff? Yeah. With the wheels being so wide? Yeah. Yeah. I still run into stuff now. So, so how was work? Work was... I don't know. I ain't even supposed to be thinking about work right now. Usually I ain't thinking about work after I get Oh, it's away Friday, from. ain't it? Yeah, I'm trying to get me a drink. Yeah, I know you That's are. what I wish I would've got one before we started walking. <laughs> Ew. Uh, Kia texted me, she was like, you wanna go to Mr. and Mrs. Crab? She always wanna go to, oh, you ain't get the plate? Huh? You ain't get the plate today for huh? the spot? Oh, uh, no, nah, you know, I was, but then I'm like, <laughs> yo, so I'll I be looking at this Instagram check, chef. Check out her Instagram. <laughs> I'll I'll show y'all some yeah. nice food spot, Instagram yeah. food spot. Yeah, so uh, it's a chef that be making up dishes uh, more into town. And I swear, he be selling. Like, if, if you don't get to him in a good two hours after he posts, his food gone. So I was going to go get some food from him today, but I don't know if I really was interested in the food. Like, I, I don't know if I was, like, in the mood for that. You not in the mood for that? You show it to me every day? No, but for that particular dish. Because mm -hmm. it had, like, the yellow rice and shrimp. And it, it, it was, like, crabs and stuff, but it was, like, more like gumbo crab. Like, it had the sausage. Yeah. So, you know, I don't really like gumbo and stuff like that. Yeah. So, I was kind of, like, hesitant if I really wanted it. Yeah, I'm ready for this Disney trip next week. What? Yeah, it's next weekend, ain't it? Yeah. Oh, I ain't got the time. You need like a wheelchair? You like an electric wheelchair so you can just like <laughs> be mobile That's the that? plan. <laughs> David ready for his drink. <clears throat> it's the weekend. <laughs> you want some too? Yup. It's the weekend. You gonna drink that? Hmm? You gonna drink that? I'm gonna try it. Oh. I'm gonna try it. Like so a this is bit. a special Henny. The Las Vegas one, I think. Very special Henny. Yeah. Oh, it says very special. Mm. Why it look kind of thick looking though? I don't know. I never tried Henny. That's because I'm putting it Well, in I rice. tried Henny, but I had a bad experience. I'm scared. Who you trying Henny? You like Henny? Huh? You like Henny? I mean, like the last time I had Henny, I was with Jesse. Oh. And we got a tour. Ugh. They say that Henny is like... Uh, it's like 151. They say it's like a, a sex stimulant. Uh, I, I don't know sleep. about being a sex stimulant, but I, I get too lit. <laughs> I just changed uh -huh. it not too long ago. Man, she you farted. You like to fart and your fart smells. Yeah, so yeah her fart, fart smells so bad. <laughs> Y'all already know, you Key. Got grown folk farts. This good Frankie. Look at her at least. I'm a little Yes, yes. Literally. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. See, I tell you, black people have can grow. Stop playing. Though, Stop playing. You know, yeah, it takes time, child. Because you know what's so crazy? When we met, both our hair was like really short. It was. <laughs> yeah, like we, was. Had, we both had like really short afros. Like, you know what? I think, nope. This ain't good. That's how long we know. Nope. 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 <laughs> Think about going natural again. Did I tell you that? I don't want <laughs> to hear it. I don't I want look. no part of the conversation because I'll be telling this girl. I think I'm going to shave it all off and go bald. Girl, bye. Some of you like David. Girl, bye. <laughs> nope, that's not for you even all No, so my new story. Mm -hmm. Someone told me at work that um, you should do Henny or whatever. Just try it. I'm just like, I don't like brown mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you know, they was like, no, you know, Henny make you horny, you know what I'm saying? Then go mm -hmm. back to your man and da 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 da. I'm like, you know what? So one day I end up on a Friday coming home in the house looking at what it what was in the refrigerator because I always had my little drinks and stuff like that. And then I randomly see a small bottle of Henny. I'm like, all right, so maybe you know, you know, let me try to let me try to see if this spice up the game. I took a sip of that and didn't make it. 
at all. Like, like, what do you mean? I didn't make it like it, like I vomited. After one sip? Sip. <laughs> and then I was like, maybe, maybe, maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I just don't like it. Then I seen some bourbon whiskey in there too. And I looked at the honey bottle and honey bottle is supposed to be like whiskey, right? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. It's cognac. So I was like, let me do this instead. <laughs> I did that. It did the same thing. I said, this ain't gonna work. So just dark liquor in general. I don't know, but that's the only two darts I tried. No, because I tried the dark one before mm -hmm. and I was fine with that, but I, I tossed up on both of them. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no. Never again. That's weird. From I a sip. Like a Dang. So nope. we just gonna be hanging out here, talking, chatting. <laughs> getting up but i think i'm gonna go ahead and close out this video on here so i love y'all we'll definitely see you in the next vlog and hopefully then nala got a be better sleep schedule which i doubt good morning <laughs> and i look basic it is roughly what time it is it's 12 oh my gosh we're not just getting up i promise still trying to get this clothes together but i think for the most part i'm pretty much done uh, this is a pile of clothes that is too small for Nala and this is like the random type stuff and those two baskets are the two baskets with outfits already pre-made so I'm about to put these in her drawer and then after that get outfits on the hangers in her closet and uh, make sure those are washed and clean and stuff like that because uh, David did hang up quite a few new clothes plus once upon a child clothes and They need to be washed before they're worn. So let me show you What's the progress on her little cubby hole situation and this situation is going to be kind of like the stuff that we that is not like everyday clothes type stuff so um i don't know if you can see if it focuses a little bit more you see this is like newborn sleepers nala sleepers socks mittens shoes hats that's newborn clothes i'm putting all the newborn clothes pretty much for the most part in here so i only have one two three four um empty bins so most likely is going to be probably um either newborn clothes let's get out of there hold on more nala sleepers and maybe little accessories and stuff like that say good morning good morning to <laughs> hey nala look at nala she like look at me <laughs> Yeah, so um, we're just kind of like getting the day organized. Like we haven't had really a day that we could get our house and our life together. And I finally feel like there's progress. What do you think, babe? It's getting there. I'm getting there. So um, I am about to grab the clothes, put them in the drawer. I grab these clothes. So all these are baby clothes. So. From here, well, actually here, <laughs> here to there is all baby clothes <laughs> that I didn't go through yet. And I'm pretty sure I showed you the other day that life is not together. So <laughs> as far as all her other clothes, but this is the only clothes in her drawer now besides what you see on the ottoman. And everything that I showed you the other day on the ottoman is, is all this two little piles so i definitely solidified everything so i'm very happy about that so the goal is to do two outfit drawers and this is a random shirt drawer and probably depending on how everything fits i can either put the random pants right here or put them in another drawer and on the bottom drawer is just all the bit like it's opening <laughs> these things <laughs> and i'm gonna put that in a cubby hole so all the burp cloths and stuff like that i'm gonna end up putting in a cube so i can use this to free up some space so that way we can just come in here grab an outfit get her ready on the changing tables
Why are you trying to put my pants down? Help. Help me, please. So today, uh, we didn't do much outside of like doing the clothes situation that I told you about and watching Netflix and chilling without the without what you were thinking. <laughs> and we went to the strawberry farm, but it's kind of too many people out there to film. Yes, after Nala went down for her nap and we were watching Netflix and enjoying our time and I just took a shower and first of all, this shirt is a little disrespectful. Look at this. Look at this. So today I am 32 weeks pregnant. I think out of the whole pregnancy, this is the only time I'm really starting to like feel pregnant. Do you see a difference? I don't think you ever come to the realization that you're pregnant. <laughs> you just be saying I want to drink or I want my body back. And that's pretty much it. Am I acting more pregnant now? I don't think so. Don't you really think about difference. the same? Yeah. I think I'm more exhausted than I have been because in Nala I was always exhausted. But I feel like now I'm more winded. I'm more like physically exhausted. My body's starting to ache. She calling somebody? Oh, that's not your phone. <laughs> she know how to call somebody. <laughs> excuse you. Ooh, is she pushing the green button? How you know how to call people? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Doing something you ain't supposed to? So yeah, that's what I'm starting to feel like. I'm starting to feel a little bit more weak. But I'm trying to persevere because y'all know I am a stay-at-home mom now. And I ain't got time to be tired. But I am. I'm slowing down slowly but surely. I feel like you've been pregnant for two years. <laughs> <laughs> Well, basically, uh, no. Nah. This is the longest pregnancy I've ever heard of. <laughs> well, technically, hasn't it? Because, like, when I got pregnant with Nala in 2018, it's 2020. Yeah, like a six week break. Uh, yeah. I feel like getting this question all the time now. Are you ready? Do, do people ask you that a lot? Nah. Uh, they just say, they're like, you ready? You ready? Are you they ready? They just be like, Dang, having another one mm -hmm. so soon. <laughs> I feel for you. How do you answer that? Like, I am ready, but I'm tired, child. I'm tired, but I don't have a choice but to be ready. You know what I'm saying? Like, David said, I'm ready to not be pregnant, but I'm ready to have my baby girl here. Look at this. And, and she become a diva. <laughs> yeah, that's you. She become a diva. And Look, she yelled at me. Six. Oop. And she's starting to move around a lot. A lot. She heavy. <laughs> I think in the next month she should be like at least standing and balancing or whatnot. I said I'm going to do a two month video, but y'all got to understand. Listen, listen. These videos are going to come out when they come out. So, yeah, we'll just see you guys tomorrow. Deuces. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Can't come right to your mama